All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to game number three here on rink B between Crosby Engineering and Advanced Auto Care. Advanced Auto Care and Crosby Engineering both had the earliest game today at 8 o'clock. Advanced Autos didn't go as planned. They lost 5-1 to one in their first game, but Crosby Engineering took a triumphant 5-3 victory to kick off their tournament. So 1-0 versus 0-1 here. Advanced Auto looking for their first win. Crosby Engineering looking to get a winning streak going to be the first team to reach two wins in this tournament. Crosby Engineering also the defending champions of this tournament. They won it last year. It was a Cleary family reunion over on the bench. They had Danny Cleary as the head coach and Ewan Cleary as the assistant coach along with Graham Cleary on the blue line. Seems that Crosby Engineering are getting quite the pep talk in the dressing room. They're nowhere to be found here to start off this game. All right, here we go. Here comes Crosby Engineering making their way out onto the ice. So the coaching staff for both teams for Advanced Auto Care, Sarah Diamond and Ashley Stratton, and for Crosby Engineering, Dan, Danny Cleary and Steve Callahan.
So the final game of the day is at 1 p.m. It's between Gen Oil and Morfrost. And then we wrap it up and come back tomorrow bright and early at 8 a.m. That game is also Gen Oil, and they will be taking on Steers Insurance 8 a.m. tomorrow. We finish early tomorrow with more Frost versus Steers Insurance closing out the day at 11.30. So Crosby Engineering and Advanced Auto just had yoga. So they're all stretched out and ready to go for this game. So both teams, both teams making their way to the bench. This should be a dandy game. Excited to see the result of this one. Crosby Engineering looked to have a good team again this year. So we'll see if they can come home with back-to-back Danny Cleary Showcase titles. So Advanced Auto making their way out first. It's Crosby Engineering getting a extra pep talk here from Danny Cleary and Steve Callahan. So here we go, we got two 15 minute periods and then a 20 minute period where we stop the clock for the last five minutes of the game. So a bit of a rule change here midway through the tournament. Here we go, we are underway for game number three on rink B of the Paradise Double Ice Complex. My name's Seth Hyde, glad to have you joining us. This should be a dandy game between two great teams. Here's Jones to Davis right away and a big save by O'Connell. Liam and Ryan O'Connell, the two brothers, are both in this camp together. Liam's younger brother, Ryan, in the U14 division checking clinic. 
while Liam is here in the showcase, the starting netminder for the defending champions, Crosby Engineering. Here's Davis. Out to the blue line, kept in. Cameron Hay creeping in. He had an amazing tournament last year. That landed him a spot on Mount St. Charles Prep School, and now he's back this year for the Cleary Hockey Showcase. Sent out in front to Hay. Given away to Parsons. Parsons up to Davis. Jack Davis in a foot race with Cleary. Cleary trying to get it. Poked free on the boards and some nifty moves there by Aldrich Clark. Now out in front of the net, there's a shot and covered up by O'Connell. Only a minute and a half into the game and a bit of offense so far. Let's see if both teams can build on this. Sent down low behind the net. Played ahead and now move forward. Crosby Engineering looking to make something happen. It's Parker Banks. Played U15 AAA in Notre Dame and Saskatchewan this year. Here's Skinner with a shot on O'Connell and he'll glove that one down. Coates wins it down to Bishop. Nathan Bishop will chip it out to center ice and now opportunity for Parker Banks. Banks cuts across, shot blocked in traffic. Now out to the blue line, dump back into the corner. Skinner gonna try to get it, now it comes out to Pittman. Pittman shoots in a save in net by Hunt. Here's Bishop racing in right away off the draw. Shoveled back down into the corner. And now it's picked up by Daniel Bercy. Bercy to Hay. Hay fires it on, rebounds there. And it's kept out as Hines gets it behind his own net and he keeps going. Hines with a backhand saucer up through the middle. Oh my, a hard collision into the boards. There, I didn't catch who that was. I think it was Colin Jefford. And now he's hired on the back check as that's sent down into the boards. Gavin Carlson, the only goal for advanced auto so far in this game, or in this tournament, excuse me. Dalton racing after Cleary. Graham Cleary, who's the nephew of Danny Cleary, played with the Hitman this year and won that three-peat with them, the Ice Jam, the Atlantics, and the Provincials, as well as the league title. So you might as well call that a quadruple for the Hitman this year. And now he's looking to make that five with the Danny Cleary Showcase for the second year in a row. And that'll help out. There's a goal for Crosby Engineering off a great play by Cameron Hay. And it's Evan Higdon who's going to get the goal of the U16 AAA Fog Devils. He's in the right place at the right time and he makes it one nothing for Crosby Engineering. Here's Jack Davis. Fed over for Jones. Jones walks in and shoots just up over the net. Now Higdon. Moving it forward, dumped back in by Parsons. Up ahead, it's Jones up through the middle, he scores! And this game is tied. 
Beautiful goal by Ethan Jones. Roofs it up into the top corner. And we are tied up just like that. Here's Parsons making his way in. It goes down low to Jones. Jones out to the blue line. There's a shot from the point, and O'Connell will make the save with the glove. Just 8.45 left to go in this first period. Now Davis out to the blue line, sniped back in by Griffin Brown. Out to the blue line now, Parsons puts it on just up over the net, that was a hard shot from the point. Now Brown, rebound for Jones, he scores! Ethan Jones makes it two for him. He doubles down and for the first time this tournament, Advance Auto have the lead. One through to Hines. He cuts back, and they'll backhand it over. Now up the middle, given away. Pittman offside was waved off. Just a bit of a miscommunication there. Now it comes out in front of the net. Banks trying to keep it in, and he does. Banks making his way around the outside. Here's Pittman with Andrew Moores in front of the net. Comes out for power. Power down low for Pittman. Pittman with some beautiful moves. Waiting along the outside, now Banks. Tried to lift the stick. And Bishop's gonna get it to Banks. Banks going after it, Stokes around the boards to Andrew Moores. Moores makes his way into the backhand and a Big save there, just enough by Matthew Hunt to keep it out of the net. And it's still a 2-1 game. Here's Hay. Cameron Hay wriggling his way down along the boards. Now here's Hay, trying to make his way in. He got tied up, and it's sent up the middle, and here's Button. Button will swing it all the way around to Galton. Given over to Bercy, and now it's kept in by Button. Trying to drop it off. Bercy chips it up ice. Here's Cameron Hay. Hay to the backhand, still going with it. Carlson will fend him off the puck. Now Hay still with it somehow. My goodness. Cameron Hay with the shot. Hunt will make the save. And looks like we got a penalty coming up here against Crosby Engineering. Here's Button down the other side. Button wriggling his way through. Dropping it back down low. And we'll get the penalty call here. It's a head contact penalty against Cameron Hay. And who will be taking the penalty shot? So it's Gavin Carlson, makes his way in, shoots, scores! Gavin Carlson, his second of the tournament. And it is a two goal lead for Advanced Auto. So two goal lead for Advanced Auto here. 
3-1 game, and Gavin Carlson has two goals in two games. There's Button, he tried to send it up the middle. Picked up by Golton, now Button in there to try to fish it out. Sent ahead, Button, swings it across, beautiful pass, and O'Connell makes the save. And now Golton again with the shot, and another save by O'Connell. Mason Golton played for Crosby Engineering last year. Banked off the boards to Cameron Hay. Hay, oh my goodness, beautiful moves. He just puts it wide of the net. Now Cleary to Moores. Sent along the wall, Power coming in to get it. Ryder Power, Cameron Hay, backhand pass across. Didn't get to the man he was looking for. And now it's reset at center ice by Cleary. There's Graham Cleary. Coming down the ice, he'll flip it into the corner. That's fired all the way around the boards. Cleary left the reset at center ice. Over to Power. Back to Cleary again. Up for Moores and now Hay. Racing around the outside. Hay tried to get the shot, but it was fanned on. Given away at center ice, Han. Gonna send it back down low. Up ice it goes and here's Davis sending it down low. Han fakes, he'll play it for Clark. Now Hines shoots, that's blocked and bounces up in the air. Here's Bercy, down low it goes. Moore's trying to find it through the crowd. Now Davis given away and Hunt almost caught lacking there. He had the net off and he was trying to fix it. Very close call for him. Away goes LeDrew. LeDrew comes up. Cuts around the outside, sends it in front, and it's given away. There's Clark now. Beautiful moves from him. Shot got redirected wide of the net. Up ice it goes to Skinner. And Al picked up by Bercy. Bercy originally from Labrador. He moved in this year to play with the under-15 AAA Tri-Pen Osprey. Remember, we interviewed him last year at the camp as well. So happy to see him back this year. Here's Hines. Coming around the outside, waiting, dragging the puck. Look to play it out high to Parsons. And now racing in all alone here. An opportunity they score. And it was Brandon Gillard who's going to get that one. And it's a 3-2 to two game. Crosby Engineering rallying back here. Brandon Gillard of Western roofs that one up into the top corner. A defensive breakdown by Advanced Auto. And that'll give Crosby Engineering some hope. High scoring first period of play here. Or, yeah, first period of play. I thought it was the second for a second. And now maybe one more opportunity. Evan Higdon, who had the first goal of the game, gives it over to Gillard, who tried to put it through. Cameron Hay just up over the net. And a thrilling first period of play. Final score after one. Three for Advanced Auto, two for Crosby Engineering. Great game from both teams so far. That shows no signs of slowing down.
All right, here we go. Second period underway live from the Paradise Double Ice Complex. My name's Seth Hyde. Glad to have you joining us throughout this tournament. Here's Jefford. Jefford, did that go in the net? That puck's in the net. Did that go under the net or did it go straight in? We'll see what the verdict is. It looks like they're going to say it went under the net, but that would have been an unlucky goal for Crosby Engineering. Actually, the same thing happened at the Beaumont Hamill Centennial Cup final this year between Holy Heart and Gonzaga, except that goal stood for Holy Heart to start the game. Cleary up to Gillard and now Hay he comes in Hay throws it in front couldn't find anybody now Cleary down low redirection in front they score Evan Higdon and no that's another goal called off here that's two in the matter of minutes here in this game Evan Higdon almost had his second goal of the game Evan was actually in my gym class at Gonzaga this year. So it would have been exciting to see him grab his second goal of the afternoon, but still plenty of time for him to get another one. He's an avid Edmonton Oilers fan. So he had a bit of a rough finish to the year in that game seven, but sticking with the team, and at least his favorite team actually makes the final, unlike mine. Here's Jeffert trying to throw it in front. Cleary up for Hay. Cameron Hay across for Gillard. Can they generate something here? Cameron Hay in front to Gillard who rips it on net and Hunt closes the five hole. Now pops back out. Hay couldn't release the shot in time. And now it's a three on one. This is looking dangerous. Mason Galton shoots and a stop by O'Connell. Another goaltender closing the five hole. And now here's Cameron Hay. Coming in, Hay shoots and scores. Cameron Hay, welcome back to Newfoundland hockey. He ties it up three to three. Man, Crosby Engineering has turned this game right around. So Ethan Jones going to get kicked out of the dot. Alex Hanna going to jump in and take the face off. Ethan Jones one goal away from a hat trick in this game. Here's Stokes. Down to Hines. Given away. Pittman now puts it on. Andrew Moore is going after it. Now out to the blue line. Shot into the corner. Van Stottle looking to break it out. Now Jones going to race after it. Jones going to win the race. Can he make it a hat trick? Yes, he can. Count him up. One, two, three. A hatful for Ethan Jones. He is having a day. That's his third goal. And he gives Van Stottle the lead again. I believe that is the first hat trick of this tournament so far, and that belongs to Ethan Jones. There's Stokes. Bringing it back. Stokes up ahead, Jones trailing behind him, and Jones is gonna get it, can he get four? He just couldn't release the shot in time. The most goals in a game I've ever seen that I've called was seven, and that was in the Novice Select Tournament. That was Blake Chater who scored all seven of those, if he's watching. And the most I've ever seen in a game was Maria Da, the girls team I coached this year. She had nine in one game. She was a big help to us this year, so shout out to Maria if she's watching. 
It's actually my first year of Seth Hyde coach side, coaching that uh, under 11 girls team alongside Sean Newhook and Will Cal. Got a lot of respect for coaches, especially after that experience. Hay absorbs that check, check from Hannah there. And now here's Bercy up to Jones. Davis going after it. Hannah tried to intercept. Comes up to Cameron Hay now. Hay curls across, shoots, rebounds there, and Hunt will keep it out of the net. Here's Hannah. Down to Davis. Davis with the backhand on goal. And oh, almost got called for too many players on the ice there. Intercepted in front of the goal by O'Brien who tried to release the shot and that was blocked. Here's Skinner. Down to O'Brien. O'Brien frees himself, puts it in front of the net. LeDrew trying to get it and now it's flipped out to center ice. Now Cameron Hay. Can he tie the game again? No, he's shut down on defense by Nathan Parsons. Parsons now up the middle. Here he is, Nathan Parsons with a nice move and a great defensive play by Power. Comes over for Clark. He'll fire it forward for Higdon. Carlson swings it back down around the boards. It's Power who's going to get it. Power to Clark, and now around to Higdon. O'Brien will flip it over. LeDrew moves in, tried to find a body in front of the net, just couldn't get it to somebody. And now up the other way comes Parsons. Parsons trying to take the shot. He rolls away from the hit of Clark. Carlson going to keep it in. So out of Advanced Auto's five goals, only two players have scored them. Gavin Carlson with two, Ethan Jones with three. And now it's a backhand pass ahead in the defensive breakdown by Advanced Auto. Evan Higdon, a shot and a save by Matthew Hunt. Faceoff is one out to the blue line. Crosby Engineering pushing for a game-tying goal here. Pittman trying to get it through, giving away. Pittman look to find Coates. Now Moore's trying to lay the body. Comes around to Cleary. Cleary sends it down low. Over to Coates, and now it's Moore's. Moore's in front of the net. The shot just goes up over. Now it's Pittman with a chance. Rebounds there, and it's saved in net by Matthew Hunt. 6.30 left to go in the second period. It's a 4-3 game for Advanced Auto. Crosby Engineering still pushing for a game-tying goal. Shot right off the draw. Just goes up and over the goal. Now pass across, Button racing in, Golton going to the net, and it's Golton off the post! Oh my, Advanced Auto almost took a two goal lead there, very close call. Here's Gillard with a howitzer of a shot, and it's saved in goal by Matthew Hunt. Banks wins the draw. Brown plays it around, and it's Davis who will play it up ice to Jones. Hannah tried to get it free. Now it comes to Davis. 
Davis across for Jones. Hat trick already in the game. Out to the point to Stokes, who backhands it in. Now Clark ahead for Pittman. Higdon going to swipe that one out of midair, but he's called four offsides with 4.50 remaining in the second period of play. Here's Brown. Up ice, Jones going to the net. There's a shot just wide. Now Hannah rips it on from the corner. And the net has come off its moorings and we'll have an offensive zone faceoff coming up shortly. Here's Brown. Brown takes the shot. Redirected just wide of the net. Now power up ahead. A collision there at the blue line. Moore's looking to lift the stick. Sent all the way up the middle to Hannah. Back out is Brown. Who's going to pick that up? Brown up for Jones. Larry going to fire it back down into the corner. Now cutting back is Jones. He sends it across. Hay put on the pressure. Cleary will send it ahead. Hay almost got sent on a breakaway there. Now it's Gillard. Tried to drop it back. He shoots just wide of the goal. Now Gillard walks in and wires it on net. And it looks like Brown is in some discomfort there. After that, howitzer of a shot. Now here's Hannah. Beautiful move through his legs. Picked up at the other side, thrown on goal for Jones, who's looking for number four in this matchup. Now Bercy up to Banks. Hines going to try to get it. He takes it down behind the net. Carlson. Getting the puck on the boards. He'll send it ahead. Advanced Auto looking for one more goal here before the intermission. Looking to get a bit of life here. Skinner. Picked up on the corner. Now it heads up to Banks. Banks fires it ahead. And here comes Bercy. Stops, waits. Drops it back to Banks who just puts it up high and wide. Here's Banks with it again. Hay going to lift the stick. Hay in there digging on the boards. Comes free. Now Han out at the blue line. Han going to turn and fire it in. Banks dumps it back down low. Hines going to get there. Sent ahead and away goes O'Brien. Moving on in. O'Brien gets it. Turns and it goes just wide of the net with 130. Left to go, and O'Connell reached out to cover it. Well, what an exciting game it has been so far. Extremely offensive and action-packed throughout the whole matchup. Can't believe the day is almost over already. This is the third game of the day. We got one more left to go. Then it's home for the day to edit a couple videos, and then we do it all again tomorrow. I'll have Dale Carley joining me tomorrow for the last game, and he'll also be joining me on Friday as well. I reached out to all of my former coaches, and Dale was the only one that could make it happen this week. So hopefully we can get some of the other ones in some other time this upcoming season. I'm sure there'll be lots of opportunities for them. Here's Coates now coming in. Drop back to Higdon. Intercepted, and it's Played ahead, now Han lays the body. Now put forward, here's Higdon. Evan Higdon for number two and a save in net by Hunt. Let's 
So will we have enough time for one more face-off here before the end of the second period? Let's find out. No, we're going to run out of time. So the final score as we head into the third, second intermission, it's four for Advanced Auto Care and three for Crosby Engineering. Folks, what an action-packed first two periods of play. We'll see what this third period has in store momentarily. Enjoy the intermission, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes.
All right, guys, welcome back to our third and final period of play from the Paradise Double Ice Complex. It's been an amazing first two, first two periods of play. Very offensive game so far. Through the first two periods of play, we saw seven goals. Through the first two games I did, we saw five and six. So there's been more goals in the first two periods of this game than there was in the last two games I did today. So it's a goal fest here at the Paradise Double Ice Complex. And we are ready for an exciting third period of play. Handing out goals here like it's the Oprah Winfrey Show, everybody. Here's Jones. Jones racing in. Oh, and a nice poke check by Ryan O'Connell. Excuse me, Liam O'Connell. Ryan O'Connell is his brother that plays under 13 AAA. Here's Hay with the backhand. Rebound. Oh, wow. Gillard hit the post and then hit Matthew Hunt's pad. Here's Gillard with the shot and a great save in net by Hunt. Face off is one through. Away goes LeDrew. LeDrew cutting up for the middle. Now Han is going to leave it, and O'Connell will cover it. Face off, one out to the blue line. Shot fanned on. Crosby Engineering still pushing for an equalizer here. Here's Andrew Moores. Moores throwing it in front, makes its way out to the blue line. Some beautiful moves by hand, shoots it just wide of the net. Couldn't find a deflection. Here's Bercy. Lost it up the middle and makes its way back into defensive territory for Crosby Engineering. There's Brown, has it, sends it ahead. Now Skinner, sends it in. Now it's gonna be Bercy who intercepts that one. Bercy still moving with the puck, lost it at the blue line. Now Bercy lunging in for it again, O'Brien. Out to Moores, dangerous looking attack here. Cameron Hay down the wing. Hay cuts across. He shoots just up over the net. He's had many chances, just hasn't been able to capitalize on them. Does have one goal in this game, though. Could have had many more. Hay out to Cleary. Hay will get it back again. He shoots and another save. Now poke free again. Power tried to find the open lane. Threw it back in front and it was intercepted. Now it's brought back by Hines. Hines throws it across and he'll get it again. Now that's sent up the middle to Button. Button moving in on goal, takes the shot from far out at the blue line and O'Connell has no trouble with that. Now given over Carlson. Turns the puck over to Coates. Carlson gonna get it again. Stick is lifted, sent out in front of the net. Jefford will clear it out to the blue line and fire back down low. Up to Jefford. Jefford sends it across. Galton going to get it. Galton to Hines. That one thrown across. Now Coates up to Hay. Here goes Cameron Hay racing in and just couldn't get it into the zone. 
Now here's Parsons. Parsons gingerly crossing the blue line as he makes his way in, fended around the outside. Here's Banks. Coming up the other way, Banks moving into the backhand. Banks takes the shot and it's steered just wide of the net. Here's Higdon. Higdon on the wall. A little bank pass out to the blue line to Bishop. Bishop shoots, rebound there for Higdon and he just couldn't get there in time. Here's Gillard. Trying to grab it now, Hannah. Takes his time. Gillard laying the body. Parsons looks to clear on a cluster of Crosby Engineering bodies. Won't let that happen. It comes out to Gillard. Gillard got tied up at the hash marks and just couldn't get the one-timer off. Now it's Jack Davis. Vance Otto resetting. That's a gorgeous pass. And here's Ethan Jones for number four and he hits the post. Oh, a beautiful stretch pass, and Ethan Jones almost had his fourth of the game. If he would have ripped that one in, you call him Austin Matthews. Here's Jones again. Ethan Jones turns it over now. Gillard up ahead for Higdon. And it's Evan Higdon trying to find Moores, his teammate on the Fog Devils this past season of U16 AAA. Here's power now out high, and it's given away again, and another opportunity. It's Jack Davis this time. Davis and Hill put it in the back of the net. It's a two-goal lead for Advanced Auto, and Jack Davis with a beautiful ripper. Low glove side, and it's a 5-3 game. And after that Jack Davis goal, I see a scout up here writing something in his notebook. So we'll see, that's one of the important things about this camp are the scouts and it's pretty cool to see all them come down here to Newfoundland. Usually the whole goal of this camp is to have people come here instead of all the Newfoundlanders go away to try to prove themselves. So it's good to see. Here's Bercy coming in, throws it across, back to Bercy, hit the post, rebound! And oh my goodness, Matthew Hunt hung him to dry like a flake of salt fish. He flashes the leather and he keeps this a two goal lead for Advanced Auto. And we see the Pitbull hype is in full swing here at the Paradise Double Ice Complex. Pitbull coming here August 10th at the Churchill Park Music Festival. I'm fortunate enough to be going to that. Very excited about it. One of my favorite artists. Got 22 Pitbull songs on my playlist, so I like him a little bit. A lot of big names coming to Newfoundland this summer, actually. We got Nickelback, Shania Twain, Pitbull, Billy Idol, which I'm going with my parents to. So I hope these big names keep on coming to Newfoundland. Hope it's just not a one-year thing. Here's Skinner up the other way. Skinner moving in. Beautiful move. That's going to be covered up by O'Connell. Sent around the boards, Gillard gonna try to keep it in. Now Button will fire it back down. Jeffer is gonna try to get it and now it's sent ahead to Gillard. And now a giveaway and an opportunity here but Coates couldn't get it all the way in and looks like we have a hooking call coming up here and a penalty shot on its way. So it's gonna be Connor Coates with the penalty shot, let's see what he can do here. Coach with the shot and Hunt with a beautiful save. And now the rebound pops back out in front. Nobody could find it and Advanced Auto breathing a sigh of relief here. They've really gelled together since that first game. They looked a little bit disoriented and 
all that kind of stuff. But they've really gelled together and have really come together and have played a great second game here. And that's one of the hard parts about this tournament is having to play with some new teammates and not really knowing everybody. It really brings out your true skills. Face off one to Pittman. Makes its way out to the point to Clark. Now it's Davis. Racing it on net. Davis plays it back out to Stokes. Here's Davis again. Davis puts it on net. Intercepted. Now up the other way comes Crosby Engineering. It's Graham Pittman leading the charge. He'll put a shot on that goes just wide. Now Davis is tied up. It comes to Pittman. Pittman with Higdon freeing himself, and he just couldn't get the redirection on the back door. Here's Jones now making his way in. A beautiful backhand pass. And a redirected shot is covered up by Liam O'Connell. There's Cody, down behind the net. Sent up ice and picked up at the other end by Stokes. Bercy going after it, Stokes is gonna get it. Up ice to Hannah, now it's a two on two up the other way. Opportunity here for Advance Auto, comes back to Jack Davis and he could not get the shot off in time. Here's Gillard. Staying afloat, trying to get the puck through. Now Cleary, playing it back in. Stokes, gonna get it and take it down behind his own net. Up to power, redirected through. Cleary gonna race after it. Graham Cleary ahead to Bercy. Bercy waltzing in, turned away. Now it's Jack Davis. Davis making his way through. Hay trying to get it, goes down low. Around the boards it goes to Parsons. Parsons has it out high. Nifty moves from him, played out to Hannah. Now it's backhanded ahead. Big hit on Hannah there as Parsons is gonna take it over. Now Pittman trying to find it. Pittman giving it over to Han. Han chips it off the wall. Now Hay gonna jump in and try to get it, but LeDrew will pounce on it. And it's LeDrew giving it over and it's turned away. And now up the other way comes Cameron Hay. What can he do here? Cameron Hay tried to slide it across. Nobody home. Now here's Pittman. Over for Hay. Turned aside by Parsons. Now sent all the way across the ice to power. Parrow will give it over. It's Banks who's moving in. Banks to Hay. Hay cuts, still going. Hay tried to backhand it on net and took a deflection just wide of the goal. Here's Power now with the shot. The rebound is there and nobody could find it. Just six minutes remaining in the third period and hopes are dwindling here for Crosby Engineering. Hines drops it back to Skinner. And now a little black backhand fluky shot there. Almost beat O'Connell. 
Morris comes in. Couldn't get the shot off. Now it goes down low. Power. And we have a delayed penalty coming up here. Higdon throws it out in front of the net. Higdon going to race after it. He's brought down by Carlson. We'll see a penalty shot coming up here for Crosby Engineering. And this could be the thing that turns the tide for them. Let's see. Here's Power. Power's in, shoots, and he's turned aside by Matthew Hunt. Here's Power. Tried to keep it in, and now a three-on-one here. Great effort by Advanced Auto to get it into the zone. Now here's Moores. Moores creeps in. Fires it around. Couldn't find Higdon. Up the other way comes Stokes. Stokes comes in, holds and waits. Cuts back, Galton. Trying to get it, now it's Button. Who has it down low. Takes it out high, intercepted. Kept in out at the blue line by Button. Heads down to Clark. Clark with a beautiful move. Fired over and now it's Gillard who's hard after it and it will be an icing call with 4.04 oh, four left to go in this third period of play. Stokes gives it away to Bercy. Bercy flips it down. Hunt comes out of the net and he'll play it around the boards. Now a giveaway again. It's Bishop racing after it. It's down low behind the goal. Golton gonna come in and try to intercept. Now look at this breakout opportunity. Here's Cleary moving in just barely onside. Cleary now has it in the corner. Cleary to Hay. Cameron Hay trying to get it. It's sent up and out of play and heads out for a whistle and an offensive zone faceoff for Crosby Engineering with 3.09 left to go. Sent up the middle. Chance for advanced auto here. It's Jones. Been the main story of this game so far with his hat trick. Now Cleary. Trying to get it as Pittman. Davis throws it across. It's centered in front of the net. And the rebound pops out to Parsons. And he just puts it up over the net. And now there's another chance and a big save by O'Connell, a couple of big saves from him to keep that puck out of the net. And it looks like we have a timeout being called here by Crosby Engineering. 2.35 left to go, two goal deficit. Not impossible, but it's gonna be hard.
So here we go, defensive zone face off for Crosby Engineering, Advance Auto looking to really put this game to bed here if they could rip one in here off the draw. There's a shot, Carlson puts it on. Oh, a couple of deflections. It was like they were playing Plinko out there then, almost deflected into the back of the net. Here's Hannah, out to the blue line. Parsons over for Carlson, who shoots and a save by O'Connell. And now an opportunity for Crosby Engineering. They need a goal now. Banks tried to take it in, just couldn't do it. And now here it is, back into the zone. O'Connell looking for the call, and this is going to be a bold move here. They're going to pull him. No, he's heading back into the net, and good thing he did, because it's Hannah coming in. And it's across to Jones, who almost had number four. Here's Parsons. Tried to put it on. Just 1.33 left to go. It comes around to Hannah. Back down low to Davis. And now it's in front to Jones. And what a deflection by Hand getting his stick in the way. Here's Hannah. Now a big hit by Cameron Hay. And now can they get the goalie out this time? Crosby Engineering just getting it into the zone. It looks like... Advance Auto might come away with the victory here by the way this is going. Nifty toe drag, move it to backhander. Hunt makes the save, the puck is still free, nobody can find it. 55 seconds left and here it is. This will put the icing on the cake, no, it's kept out. Comes up to Hay, Hay across. Here's Banks, fan on the shot. Hunt will come out and play it. Up the middle, oh, redirected down. Will it go? Icing waved off with 35 seconds remaining. Hope starting to dwindle for Crosby Energy. It's sent ahead and dumped in around the boards as Cameron Hay comes in for the puck and he lays the body. Gillard for Pittman off the post. 15 seconds remaining. Comes around to Skinner. Skinner sends it ahead. Now LeDrew, can he put the icing on the cake? No, he can't. It goes just wide of the net, but it's not going to matter. Advanced Auto will get their first win of the Clary Hockey Showcase. They take this one 5-3, to three, a big, big win for them. They really showed up to play out here this afternoon. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back at 1 o'clock for the final game of the day. Be sure to be kind to one another. Stay safe. We'll see you then.